anyway, we're going to take a little walk around Miss Jill's yard today and take a look at some of the flowers that are blooming. This one is a flower pot that Kevin gave me for Mother's Day. And then here are my peonies that are just absolutely enormous. They're so beautiful. And we also have some pink peonies that are probably going to pop in the next day or two. We have some purple iris that have bloomed. Here's some more, a lot of pink peonies that will be blooming soon. This is this pretty, it's a lace flower. It actually looks like the flower that a carrot seed produces if you let carrots go to seed. And then these pink flowers behind it are a perennial I put in last year that climbs this trellis. And I thought it was dead, but obviously it came back. Here's another one of these beautiful purple iris next to a peony plant. I'm not sure, this one might be that whitish with pink like the first one I showed you. The sedum plant always gets so large here on this corner. And then we're going over here. My roadies are all in bloom now. So I have some white rhododendron coming along, some red, some more white. You can see all the way down the line, there's a purple one down at the end, but all my rhododendron are coming into season right now. And then heading back over to the garden, these, re these red flowers that are sticking out of the ground were my sedum flowers from last year that I spray painted and dried. And I used them as a, as a um, red color. They've kind of gotten brownish red now, but they were sort of a bright red for the winter. I had them in all season and they're just there for decoration. But you can see the cucumber plants are just beginning to come up. Here is my hosta garden. And then I have some more iris that I put here this year. Some more hostas coming in front of these. I put these pots here because the flowers die out and then my husband can get to these tubes in the back that are for the heated driveway. Here's a, these are Stella lilies. They will be blooming all July and August. My onion plants you can't even see because it's a sea of weeds in there. And if we get, here's some planters that I had done. These um, geraniums are looking good. My phlox are still blooming. This is salvia. That's a perennial that comes back. And the bunnies don't really eat it, so that's a good one to plant. I think these are bleeding hearts. And then we have some more flocks. We have some, this is, um, what the heck is this called? Cilantro. I love cilantro. This is delicious. This is a delicious herb. You can pick this right here, these leaves. Those are a good Mexican herb. So, you know, this is actually the herb that sells more than any other herb in the um, world. Isn't that funny, cilantro? I'm going to eat that. It's delicious. This is a funny kind of hydrangea. They're called strawberries and cream, and they're sort of a cone shaped as opposed to a round one. They are just beginning to come into bloom. Here we have another raised planter. And then we have some flowers down here. You can see the bunny has been doing a number on whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but it's eating it. Then down here, the scallions are these ones that are going to flower now. I'll show you in a second. See these big flowers on this? Those are actually scallions. And then these other, you can see the tall green things. Those are onions and all the stuff in between those rows of onions are weeds. I have to weed that today. You can see that these, um, these are dianthus. They looked dead from last year, which is where all the yellow is, but the green is all the new growth coming up this year. This is a perennial and the bunnies do eat that. So I moved it inside the garden this year. Here are Felicity's Shasta daisy plants I'm trying to keep alive till I get them to her. This one is a combination of Shasta daisy. It looks like there's a pepper plant in there and some lettuce seeds. It must have just been a bunch of random seeds I stuck in for our seed planting. You can see the lettuce plants mingled in with all my weeds. Here are the green bean plants that are coming up nicely. They're not climbing yet, but they're getting ready to climb. They're standing nice and tall. These are those broccoli plants. They are greening up. They were kind of yellowy leaf, I guess, so they have greened up. They're actually going to be okay, I think. There's some more beans in here, but it looks like something ate some of them. There's not that many coming up. I'll have to replant those. And then this is the eggplants. Look how fabulous. We grow those from seed. Those look fantastic. A couple of the ones that had been, that went into shock are beginning to come back. I think they might be okay. 
And then here's a whole bunch more lettuce plants. See, they're doing great. I bet I've already been picking some of that. And see, my tomato plants are getting quite tall. Not all of them. Some of them are a little shorter. Some are very small still. But this one here is particularly happy for some reason. So those are doing well. And then we can go out here. So today I'll be in here weeding, getting rid of a lot of this junk in here. I'll send you a picture when I'm done. It's wet in there now because the sprinkler system went on and I don't want to go out there when it's wet and get all muddy. I'll have to wait a bit on that. Maybe I'll do it later this afternoon. Here's these tomato plants. These are the ones that Lauren and Ethan dropped off. They're Jetstar tomatoes. They have them in the cages. You can see the cages are about five feet tall and the cages just sit inside a big pot. The big pot has a good amount of fertilizer and nutrients to get that plant going. And they haven't really begun to take off yet. So these two here are some plants I planted from seed. Remember I said to take a tomato from your house, a vine ripe tomato, and smush it on a paper towel and save the seeds? I only dried them for a day or two and then I stuck them in the ground and they started to come up. So, um, I mean, I stuck them in the arrow garden. So then I moved them out here and they, they actually look just as happy as those jet star, maybe even a little happier. So I have those. And then you'll see over here, I have my zucchini plants, which they're not doing very much these days. I don't think they're getting enough water from the sprinkler system when I was away. But there's some more of them out here. But I did weed before I left and that looks good. I have some more tomatoes out here. These, I'm trying to remember what kind of tomatoes I put in here. These might be maybe some of the super sweet 100s that we started from seed. I think that's what they are. And then there were a few that looked like they were dying that I tried to rescue. I also threw some green bean seeds in here and only a couple came up. I must have put about 30 seeds in, but I think something ate them. And the two tomato plants are coming along. And this one is one of the super sweet 100s that had gotten too tall. I haven't even put it in anywhere because it's kind of hard to put anything in when it's that tall. And it doesn't look great, but it's still alive. So I'm trying to decide if I want to bother to plant that. And then I over here all these plants look fantastic i've got red uh rhododendrons in bloom purple rhododendrons in bloom pink azaleas in bloom i've got this beautiful this is perennial geranium if anybody's looking for something that climbs and will tolerate a lot of shade and stay it flowers all the way from may through i want to say august or september they just keep blooming they almost have an illusion of a phlox. They actually usually have a lot more flowers than they do this year. This is some lavender that's in here. It looks kind of like tumbleweed. And I just bought this new, this new peony, which I'm gonna put in that pot in the back. I just brought that back from the Cape. So that's what things are looking like here. I put these landscape lights in that are solar. And then you just plug them in there, just push them down into the ground and you don't have to do anything to them. You don't, they don't have a cord, they don't have a battery, they just soak up the sun and then they shine on whatever it is you want them to shine on at night. So these could be shining down on the walkway if I wanted, but I have them highlighting the plants. I have them out around all the trees. So if you drove around by my house at night, you would see my trees all illuminated and you would see these bushes illuminated. All right.